Hello, very good evening, and today we are going to review Windows 11. What's the new features that are available inside Windows 11, and what we can do with Windows 11? What are the new things that allows us and makes Windows 11 different from Windows or previous versions of Windows, specifically Windows 10? Let's begin. Now, Windows 11 feels like a subtle and considered attempt to modernize an operating system that's existed for more than 35 years. There's a new start menu that ditches the live tiles that were originally introduced in Windows 8. There is a new design introduced around corners and places of Windows 10's sharp angles. So Windows 10 had a sharp angles. However, in Windows 11, you would find a nice round corners throughout its menu. And there is a new Windows App Store that's far more open with more of the apps you actually going to use on Windows. Moving on to the design aspect of the Windows 11, Microsoft has taken some clear cues from Mac OS and Chrome OS. And even in Android and iOS here, rounded corners are everywhere you look. And the center taskbar that reveals the new start menu feels a lot like some of the Android app launcher. Microsoft has greatly simplified the start menu here and removed the live tiles of widgets like information that existed since Windows 8 days. It feels a lot less cluttered now and is much easier on your recent apps and your documents. Coupled with rounds that are less jarring, Windows 11 feels a lot more modern. A central taskbar adds to the new feeling that you will find most parts of the Windows 11 fields are refreshed. On the taskbar, you will find an icons for widgets and Microsoft Teams integrations. Widgets is a new dedicated section in Windows 11 that flies out of from the left hand side of the screen. It houses the weather news widgets that were added to the Windows 10 taskbar, but you can't drag and drop the on these onto your desktop or elsewhere. So they are just fixed at a certain corner. Then there is a very nice calendar apps and notification bar, which seems more natural and integrated within your new operating system and is quite interesting pleasing to the eye the new quick settings window again is very refreshing and it allows you to quickly navigate and change your settings that you want on your windows 11 which again is a very positive aspect as compared to previous versions the search interface in windows 11 which remains largely unchanged also still forces you into edge and microsoft bing search engine which sometimes can be an issue if you are more into other search engines. But nonetheless, it's, it's a cool feature and you can search anything from directly within your Windows and it will pop and take you to your Microsoft Edge. The Microsoft theme is now integrated into Windows 11 taskbar. So that means that you will be seeing Microsoft themes popping up regularly. And there are tricks to hide that, of course. But uh, it's a nice feature and Windows wants you to use Teams now for future communication and online meetings. The Snap Assistant feature in Windows 11 is one of the best additions. If you take the Snap Assistant feature, you will find that now there are many cards layout and snapping options available that you can use to snap your windows with multiple user interfaces and creating a true multitasking behavior within windows for which it is amazingly easy and very very intuitive the dark mode isn't consistent in windows though that's a big issue so you would be enabling dark mode which again is a very nice feature however there are still many windows that will pop up and will which will not have the dark mode which sometimes is a letdown but nonetheless most of the interfaces you would find are quite easily integrated with the dark mode the microsoft pc health checkup app again is a very nice thing that i use regularly to check up on my pc and you can access it uh, and check your pc statistics what's happening in terms of storage in terms of battery and other features which again is a cool gesture that should be, have been uh, there for a long time instead of using a third party app but now you can use it within microsoft the best stuff in, in terms of modern, uh, in terms of this current Microsoft 11 is the modern UI and the sounds, the Snap Assistant multitasking feature is amazing. Uh, it allows you to do multitasking very easily and quickly. It is quite fast and responsive modern hardware, uh, which allows you to use Microsoft 11 very smoothly. However, the missing features like universal mute, Android apps and dynamic refresh rate creates a bit of a letdown. The taskbar isn't a giant st st step back and there are many things that you used to do with taskbar such as moving the taskbar from the left and top right corners, however which you can't do right now. And But you can move your windows I icons from center to the left. Nonetheless, the dark mode and the UI changes aren't consistent, which again is a really bad issue. So I hope you like this review and let me know how you feel Windows 11 and how you've been using Windows 11 for your own experience and what you would love about it or what you don't like about it in the comments. And let's see what we can do in future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe this video.